Okay, just gonna uh, get in. And these pieces of wood are simulating my seat. And what I want to look at is where these viewports would be if I did put them in. And I think they're gonna be about there, which probably would be all right, actually. So I was gonna put one underneath, but if I got one down there, I think it might actually be better. Hmm. Well, I've just measured 50 in and 274 down on that side. I'm just going to do this side, this is the back. Now the other stand thing doesn't work, it doesn't fit, that's no good like that, obviously. So I'm thinking I could either make something else, or I could just sort of do that, and I could just tack weld it on. And then cut it off afterwards. <clears throat> While I'm thinking about that, I'm going to finish off this viewport. Okay, I just uh, did um, most of the bore on the next viewport, so I'm just waiting for that to cool down uh, before I do my final pass. And so, in the meantime, I'm going to uh, drill this through. Now, I've tacked this on, but I've tacked it on pretty hard. I don't think it's going anywhere. Oh. Glasses. <clears throat> Where are they? keep showing uh, pictures of me drilling with the mag drill but it's just such a cool machine I just can't resist it. do the final passes on the next viewport. I think I've got one more to do after this. Get another one of these done. Uh, one more to go. Take ages these do. A bit of collection. New ports here. There we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm putting up on the inside, um, and I'm oh, sorry, on the other side. And these are uh, quarter inch BSP, tapered BSP. The reason I'm using those and not a metric size is because this is a very common uh, size in pipe work so I can get I can get the valves very easily. It's a standard kind of standard valve size. So that's going to go in there. This is schedule 80 so there's plenty of meat on this for a 
stick weld. So I'll just wait for my rods to heat up. So what I'll do, once this is in, there'll be a, uh, a quarter inch BSP taper um, adapter, two six millimeter swage lock tube fittings. Just drop this down to 100 volts. So I can't believe that I haven't got another one of those pipe nipples. It's absolutely ridiculous. I usually keep them in stock. I've usually got loads of them, but at the moment I haven't got one. So I'll have to finish off next week once I've all these. In the meantime, I can get on with machining the last few pork because from when I was sitting in there earlier, I'm pretty sure I am going to put those those ports in there. I've 